Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to go over um, starting a RuneScape server. So, um, I've had a lot of requests from comments to go over building a new local server and um, whilst I do some web development, I'm more of a IT security person, but um, I'm giving it a go and I've managed to find a working RSPS, which basically basically just stands for RuneScape private server and um, <clears throat> I've managed to find one on github that you guys can download I'm just going to go over quickly what you need to do in order to be able to uh, make your own RuneScape server it's a 2009 version so it hasn't got that old school look and feel to it but um, regardless it still works it's still fun to play and um, let's just get straight into it so basically um, what you want to do is go to github.com forward slash 2009scape forward slash 2009scape and you'll get this, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to follow what's on here. Right, first off, you want to download it. And the first way to download it is to go to code and then download zip. Once you find it, you want to zip it, you want to extract that zip folder. I'm not going to show you that because that's the basic stuff. Now basically, once it's downloaded, we've got that. We've got this um, MMORPG, yada yada yada, right? We want to start our own server. And this is cool because it actually has a lot of cool things in it that you wouldn't expect. Okay. Now, um, again, credit to these guys, small group of developers spending hundreds of hours making an existing source code even better than it already was, so full shout out and credit to 2009 Scape development team. These guys are awesome. Thank you, I'm just doing a video because I know the devs have ended support. Anyway, moving on. You want to download this, download the source code, and then go through the Windows installation process. I've been through it and sometimes I really struggle with basic installs, and it's, it's not that difficult. You want to install GDK 1.8, IntelliJ, IDEA, those two really easy to download. You install Gradle too. I tried to install Gradle and it kind of worked, it kind of didn't, but um, it's not super necessary. Um, and you want to install XAMP and um, that's easy too. So, um, project setup is fairly simple. You want to run um, XAMP, your Apache and MySQL, on your local machine on XAMP control panel. And they've got instructions, you know, run it as an administrator, tick the service boxes, yada, 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 import your um, XAMP, and it's all done, okay? You want to run XAMP because XAMP acts as the local server, and that's what we're going to be connecting to. And then IntelliJ, um, you, we use our GitHub and we open our project, and this is what we're going to be downloading. We're going to download this file, and you'll see a screen like this. So if everything's done right, you should have all the windows that I have open. I'm not missing anything. And then we will have this uh, screen here. So um, what we want to do to to run the server is, and this is all open source by the way, no copyright infringement intended. Again, this is not mine, this is someone else's. Just doing this for tutorial. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to go to management server on the right, click Gradle, it's here. Under 2009 scape, go to management server, tasks, application, run. So you want to run the management server, which I've got in this tab here, as you can see. And then I've got um, 2009 scape development server, which is different from the management server. I've got that running as well. And then I have 2009 client, which I was running just a few seconds ago. I'm going to show you. So run a management server, you've got to give these things a couple minutes to work. This room they're running for six minutes, it took me about six minutes, 23 seconds. Well, this has been running for about half an hour, but it takes about five minutes to run. The, and what you've got to remember is that when you're running a server like this, it has to go and build everything. You can see now it's doing stuff, but you'll understand why it takes so long to load in just a second. But again, run XAMP, start those services, open this, run those tasks. It's There's a few steps involved, three or four, but I think it's worth it for what you're about to see next.
I'm just going to click run application here and as you can see it's already started up I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit as you can see you're going to be able to see feedback messages in this little terminal here um, and um, I will show you basically how it goes I'll log in with an account that I've made all you have to do to make an account is just go and create account go through the process yada 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 doesn't take long at all anyway I'm just going to log into an account uh, Occam's is my handle and then any old password will do I want to log in as you can see I'm logging in for my local IP address which I'm running on XAMP click here to play and as you can see I'm logged into the game and um, this is a very um, extensive game and something that I want to point out to you guys is there are actually other other players in this game as well um, and you can and you can find those players um, just around the game so if I just walk into Lumbridge here these people they look real but they aren't real they are generated by the computer which is actually quite interesting as you can see they look real but they're not anyway so we've got music mapping we've got all these features you know um, I can uh, I can obviously attack mobs combat works and um, as you can see it works very well and um, it's a very well coded 2009 recreation again it doesn't have that old school feel to it like I enjoy and I'm going to be making another video on, on old school RuneScape but this is a very good 2009 clone from after the graphical update but before evolution of combat which is a really good point and a lot of people like this period of RuneScape history so I think it's quite cool again not my favourite version there's different versions you've got 503 you've got 409 you've got some of the newer builds you've got rs3 but this is um this is a really good one this is a really nice source to play on and obviously it feels real because you've got all these people just walking around with random names and stuff and you might think they're real but they're not um and to prove this i'm gonna disconnect my internet as you can see in the bottom right hand corner i'm connected to the internet i'll show you that just don't be fooled that these are real so what so um i basically just didn't disconnected my internet cable as you can see down in the, my bottom corner i'm not connected to the internet but as you can see there are still people moving around which wouldn't be possible if i weren't connected to the internet and as you can see a lot of these oh i'm getting attacked by dark mage but just regular players like you'd have in the game which helps make it feel a lot less lonely and uh, I think that um, it's actually quite nice to have that feel to it to have other players in and um, yeah you can just sort of explore this little world by yourself and I really love little servers like this like um, not little servers I mean no disrespect to the devs I'm sure this took more hours than I'm comfortable even thinking about trying to build but as you can see it's very cool there's lots of cool things to do um, and it's a very well coded, very well done RSPS with real looking players in them and I'm just going to connect my internet now but as you can see works great, looks great most of the things work so um, yeah definitely check it out it's on github again follow the instructions online and you should be able to um, play this just as you would any other RSPS source <laughs> And um, it's a lot of fun to play, and I think this is good for nostalgia offline. Um, and you will see um, feedback in the console from the server running, and you will also see some commands being run. These are essentially just um, calls being made to different Java classes of our um, of our of our client here. So it's 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 a bit skeleton-like in the way that it is, and obviously eating works you're going to be able to see behind the scenes a bit more which if you're a dev that's very cool i've got to get out of here i'm going to die take that the magic works as you can see the combat works very well okay so um again map is fully extensive if i just open this up you can see there's a lot of places to go a lot of places to explore and um yeah 
This is a very cool RSPS source with a lot to do, and um, I think that you guys should check it out. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.